Leisha, we don't get to choose this time. It's just put me at Leisha. 225 experience. Any modifiers? Doesn't seem so. No modifiers. Really? Did we not drink somebody the last time we were Leisha? Maybe we used it all up already. Okay, well we have Iron Will, so I don't think we need... All we gotta worry about is having enough hunger around. Pretty much. Everything else? What's Leisha's role here? What should I be doing? Security, technology, more discipline stuff. Office gate. Copy one more uniform. Copy someone's identity. This could be interesting, although I don't know if we'll need it anymore. Dominate. Iron Fist generates one less hunger. Oh, that's actually... That would be pretty good, but I can't afford it. Auspex reveals premonitions. You know what? I think I'm okay with this. 10 for intimidation just because we can. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Mmm. Unreliable agent. Uh oh. Wait, is that related to the suspicion? Captain, not sorry to be back at the base. The unit that came back earlier told us there were casualties. Cassie. That's right, soldier. She did what had to be done to protect us all. Here. Anything to report while we were gone? The kid you brought back is already causing trouble. Halsey! Oh, they lay one finger on her. We had to increase security. You have to give your full name now. You can't just use your badge. Seriously? Another new procedure? Davis knows you, Captain. He'll let you in, no problem. Thank you, soldier. I'll be in the break room if anyone's looking for me. I want to be here if my men need me. All right, Captain. My scar is not properly on my forehead. <laughs> All right, we are in the Long Island SAED base. New security protocol, soldier. We have to record everyone who goes into or comes out of the building. Please give us your full ID, first and last name, so I can verify your information. Your name is? Shit. I need a credible name. I need to get inside. Then I'll take time to finish up here. That'll be easier. Suit yourself. Hang in there, sweetie. Mommy's coming. These meatbags are going to pay for dragging you back here. There are a lot of them. It won't be hard to blend in. But the captain... He's got special privileges. Well, these guys are gigantic compared to us. Well, we have so many things now. I don't even know what these things are. Are they uniforms and stuff? I just want to check. For traits? Yeah, I guess that's what got updated. It's still 24, the plus one difficulty in psychology, which is okay because of Iron Fist and all that. Anything... We can read. We should probably finish up, like, soon, soon. Caitiff? Okay, Nosferatu. Clan of the Hidden Sewer Rats. Twisted by the mark of Cain, members of Nosferatu are warped by the embrace into hideous monsters. They skulk and keep to the shadows, and they often rouse the ire and mockery of other kindred for their nightmarish appearances. Do ugly people become Nosferatu? Or does becoming a Nosferatu make you ugly? A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Deform struggling tissues of the human body into grotesque abominations. Okay, so becoming a Nosferatu makes you ugly. Weeks of pain result in deformities similar to terrible birth defects, cancerous growths, crippling injuries, and leper-like sores. Yum. But because they have this curse, they also have other blessings. They are very good as information brokers because they are... They have a supernatural acumen at stealth. And many kindred would rather ignore them than acknowledge them. 
it's not a it's not a very social life they have, but they gotta live with what they got. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then Tremir. Usurper's warlocks. Feel like we've seen some of this. Haven't seen uh, a blood magic uh, practitioners, experimenters, researchers, cultists. The Second Inquisition destroyed the Prime Chantry in Vienna in 20, 2008. Yeah, and then they kind of fell apart a little bit. They look for artifacts and all that. Tremere's serve in three ways. The warlocks serve the other clans with occult expertise. They serve the Camarilla with blood sorcery, and they serve themselves with their missions to grasp power. Yeah, wait, I feel like we have read this, right? Yeah, claiming fewer thrones worldwide than Clan Nosferatu. Anyway, there are people who want knowledge. Mm-hmm. And then the Caitiff! This is a clan that we haven't come across at all. I don't think. Orphans, a clanless. Oh, because it's not really a clan. Not all kindred inherit the curse of one of the thirteen. Some don't care what their lineage is. Certain bloodlines of kindred have always been clanless, and sometimes childer of the clans are just born different. They're often discarded, exiled, or choose to distance themselves from the clans that despise them. Pure vampires. They make up for what they lose in respect and pedigree by flexible blood and the absence of a crippling bane. Hmm, no clear disadvantages, but also no clear advantages, I guess. Not created accidentally. Oh, but the caitiff? If you get embraced by a caitiff, I guess you also become a caitiff, which kind of makes it seem like it might be a, its own little outsider's clan. But a caitiff is like the worst of all the kindred. Bottom of the hierarchy. Just above the thin blood, who should not have been born at all. When other kindred talk of the caitiff, they tell tales of Nosferatu abandoned for weeks on end without ever developing any hideousness. Painfully sane Malkavians and young Ventru, able to feed from whoever they want. Now, because Ventru normally can't drink from rats, I guess? If they don't fit the description of the clan, they get abandoned. That's kind of awful. Alright, we gotta break into the base and Security. save Halsey There's today. Good reason for it. But what? It's bad things happening, huh? High security here. Safe zone. Although I kind of wonder how having a full name instead of not having the full name would really change things around here. Would it really help? If they know that vampires can change into their people, then... I don't know. To me, it feels like it shouldn't be that helpful. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I better walk around like that, probably. <laughs> there's so many buttons now. I don't even know, like, there's so much going on there. Perfect. My vessel. There's no time for chit-chat, soldier. And these things can be dangerous. Since there's Nothing nobody to, to help me, Same for the I roof. need to get a move on. Start a new round. The warehouse worker uniform, I'm gonna hold off on it for now. Let's just have a look first. See what we need. You never know with these things. We have to inspect every inch of the place. What's in all these containers? Not all the evidence they gathered about us. I hope. They shouldn't have gone too much, hopefully. Can I help you? I heard you talking earlier about the little girl we brought back. That's not a little girl anymore. She's been infected. Yeah, yeah. Was there a problem? Have Must case. have been, because the security protocol changed. But nobody really knows what happened. What did they do with her? No idea. The SAD agents and St. Leopold guys are in charge of it. Oh. I didn't know that. The captain would know. Were you on the last assignment with the captain? No. I wasn't that lucky. 
but I would have liked to have gone out there with him this time. Well, you like him that much? You know what Cassie did. It's because of Captain Collins. It's this drive to go beyond the call of duty that he inspires in us all. We have to be ready to make the ultimate sacrifice in order to cleanse the world of these creatures. Hmm. I see. Interesting. I need to talk to the captain to find out more about him. If we can be the captain, that'd be perfect. Yeah, these are brave people. It's just that I'm not a people, so I don't care. Did my scar disappear, by the way? Seems like it. What is this? Uh... Maybe let's hold off on that for now. I won't bother you any longer. See you later. If I try to walk out here without the uniform, probably they're gonna immediately try to kill me and stuff, right? So let's... Let's not try that. I can't change it unless if I'm in a safe zone anyway. Well, there's even a guy standing on the box there. Holy crap. Okay, alright. Hello. Hey, how can I help you? You're not gonna say it like that, right? We captured a child during the op. Yeah, I saw her coffin come through. Uh, her what? You know, the containers we transport them in. Uh, what are they gonna do with her? No idea. What happens in the lab, stays in the lab. It was my first job with Captain Collins. Were you there when they neutralized the infected kid? That was him? Mm. I... I didn't realize that. Yeah. We don't know anything about the infected, but he's got tons of experience with those monsters. If I talk to the captain, I could learn more. They don't know much. Ah, uh, what items does Leisha have again? Freak ton of Polaroids. 25 points of willpower, basically. Security. Hunger minus one, but, or minus four, but we only have one of this. And we have, we have vessels around. Technology plus one. At some point, everything turned into French. <laughs> I don't know why. The same thing happened with the council before, I remember. Yeah, the Tremere brooch, I'm kind of... It's nice, but I'm kind of worried about the suspicion. But the eliminating four hunger is really nice. Uh, hold off on it for now. But yeah, okay, willpower is basically free anyway. Six? Six willpower for this? Okay. Were you out on assignment tonight? No, I was guarding the base. I injured my shoulder on my last assignment. I got hit with a block of cement when one of these things came through the wall. Whoa. You were lucky. That's what I tell myself when I see how many assets we've lost in just two days. Do you want to try this one just in case? See what it does? You've never been attached to anything or anyone. You're not interested in anything. Not things, not people. Whoa! Everything tastes like ashes and asphalt. Everything is gray and flavorless. You're incapable of caring about others. Or even caring about yourself. It's... like death. Yes, but you're alive. And for a long time, I hope. Oh my god. Wait, that's just Leisha lashing out then. It doesn't actually mean much. Does it? Your worst nightmare. Separating a mother from her child has terrible consequences, which Leisha does not hesitate to enact. Her anger strengthens her dominate power. Damn, girl. What's the point of being here? There's a lot of people here. I don't think we have, uh, can we dominate everyone? Well, probably not. There's no guarantee there won't be retaliation. Stay on your guard. I know you're angry, Leisha, but let's, let's try to stick to what's important here. Stick to the plan. Want to go 
done this time? I'm listening. No, not yet. No. Private Davis will check your ID. It's as simple as that. Okay. Also got some rats here, but if we feed right in front of everybody, <laughs> that's that's probably extremely suspicious. Another one. Yes. Cream for bruises, painkillers. This must be Danvers' treatment. I don't even know who Danvers is. Okay. Huh. He needs vengeance for the loss of someone he loved. But that's the only thing we have in common. Kendrick, there isn't a day that goes by where I don't think of you, of us, and of what those monsters did to you. My therapist told me I should write to you. They let me go back to work, and I don't have time to come and see you anymore. Well, I guess I could. But we both know that you would rather have revenge than flowers on your gravestone. So I won't give up. I'll be out there on every single assignment, I swear. I'll destroy them all. In memory of you and our love, I'll make them pay. You were the greatest brother in arms and the love of my life. Life will never be the same without you. I love you, Troy. Yeah, vampires tearing apart human families. What's good? A list of all the soldiers and how they died. So he's looking for revenge. Is Troy Captain Collins? Kendrick. Okay, a lot of throat slit, dismembered, drain of blood. A lot of freaking people died here. Kendrick McDougal, throat slit. That was his boyfriend, maybe? No smoking. I want them all to suffer for a long time. We're all trying to kill each other. We've all hurt people. They've taken my daughter, I've taken somebody else's daughter probably. It's endless cycle. Now I can't just steal your I no, it won't let me steal your identity. Yes, soldier. Yeah, it's the captain. This one's important. Uh, the little girl we found? That's no kid. Do you know what they did with her, Captain? Agent Olsen must have taken her down to one of the labs. Olsen? What will he do to her? No idea. But there's a reason he's Stanford's right-hand man. He's obsessed by the infected and won't pass up a chance to study them. Uh, I see. Were we able to bring anything of value back from this mission, Captain? Not really. No usable chemical samples. Everything was corrupted. Not a single human witness. They were all gone. They were expecting us, that's for sure. We're gonna look like amateurs. That's because we did a good job at erasing all the evidence back at the salon. Huh. Cassie blew herself up earlier. When you've got your back up against the wall, a soldier's last weapon against the enemy is to sacrifice his own life. We're not fighting humans, we're fighting monsters. We've got to do whatever it takes to get rid of them, even if it means dying. I'm not afraid of that. Oh, clue revealed one out of three. Were you the one who captured the little girl? That's right, soldier. All it took was two rounds of paralytic and a stake. It might even be my best catch of all time. She's just a kid. You're letting your feelings get in the way, soldier. You'll get over it. It's an infected corpse. That's all. What's more worrisome is wondering if these things are breeding now. Worrisome is the right word. Mmm, remember how when we became Olsen? I think we have to find more clues about the person before we can take their identity. Because we're not just taking the uniform. We're taking this specific person's personality and all that. You were in Kendrick's unit, weren't you? 
Kendrick McDougal? You knew Ken? Yeah. So all of this hunting and fighting is for him. Getting revenge for someone you love is the best motivation there is. I hear you, Captain. There we go, there we go. Hmm. I mean, we do have a lot of willpower. Yeah, let's not be afraid to spend, but, um... We've got to lock down maybe the Iron Fist yeah, would be... Actually, could we do... Here. Four hunger or six willpower. This might fail. <laughs> do it. Rhetorician. Yay! Captain, uh, do you know if we need to stand ready for another strike? Of course. Isn't that what I've taught you from the very start? We're hunting unpredictable creatures. We need to plan for every possible situation if we're going to fight them. It's a war that requires us to be on our guard at all times. I see. Okay, let's not... let's not do this. Our dominate is five now because of the trade. Oh, we're like really, really dominating. Sorry to bother you. No worries. Right. We got it. But this guy can't walk out of here. If he walks out, people are gonna be like, Hey, how come there's two captains? So we might have to be a little bit careful still. Alright, alright, chill everybody, chill. Let me do my thing. How do I do this? Oh my god. I think we got it. Let's see. Let's try it out. We're starting our rounds. Nothing to report in this area. I'm so small! Look, I'm so small compared to him! The unit did us proud tonight. Thanks, Captain. <laughs> but the actual one is like their size, right? I'd like to go with you on your next assignment, Captain. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Nothing to report, Captain. We'll see. <laughs> oh no, this woman, I feel so bad. Leave. I don't want anything. Oh, I took all of her joys away from her in life. Yikes. Yikes. Okay, we still gotta look up here. Don't they realize something is wrong? The stockage area is full. I couldn't do better with all these crates. Good luck to the night shift. Sorry, we did what we could. Oh, personal belongings. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the dialogue is like, it's very like, oh, whoa, look, that's somebody's personal belongings. Like, who speaks like that? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Inventory protocol. Prioritize major elements. Label them with our number. Record the inventory on the computer. Your name? Okay, we know the name, right? I'm Troy Collins. Yeah. Okay. Agent Olsen. We meet again. Or we will meet again. Security code. All right. Wait, so this paper... This paper doesn't really say anything important. Hey, what's the code? Congrats again on your operation. Oh no, but people won't talk to me because I'm the captain. Shoot. Is that gonna matter? Sorry, but you need to be authorized to use the crane. Um... Hey, look, it's that company We've again. Lock down the area. Yeah, nothing to again. Here. Ah! The key from the drawer. With a new security protocol, they changed the codes again. And obviously, someone didn't get the memo. This is getting old. We spent most of the morning filling out their damn papers and protocols to get the right code. So here it is. Try not to forget it. Unless you like getting buried under piles of paperwork. Good luck, Ellie. 539861. 539861 539861 They robbed us blind. 
Document Archives Patient Files Recorded by Daniel Rogers Bottles Laboratory for Analysis They took stuff from us They took a deteriorated human corpse Visibly drain of blood Request identification More names? Well, the names would probably help with um, getting through If we're not the captain But we are the captain Unidentified artifact Infected subject Oh, that's gotta be Halsey then. Control protocol not fully effective. Agent Emmett Olsen has taken charge of the case. Recorded by Natalie Watson. There is a human corpse on the dock. Alright. Uh, we could try changing out uniforms and see if the lady will talk to us. But I think we're done. Like, as far as getting past, I think they'll let us through. I'm looking for a name. Which one should I use? Ugh, and all these piles of junk. We're missing some agents, we? Well, this lady here? It should be a woman's name, right? We want her name? Ellie or Natalie? And then... It's night shift right now because it's 1am right now, right? It's probably Natalie Watson then. Like, in case if we did need her name. But we don't. Good evening, Captain. So it's fine. Ooh, do I... Oh, the fingerprint stuff doesn't change. What's in here? I'm curious. Um... Hunger. Thinking about the hunger. Okay. <laughs> if they only knew how useless their security is against me. Office gate is like hacking, huh? Am I- Is this another way to get past? Because this is getting past? What? No! <laughs> wait. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Lock picking. Wait, what? Did I come here just to get a lockpicking tool? No, I feel like you can probably open this door or something, right? But it's not interactable and the fan. Yeah, there's something there, but the, they mentioned moving the crate earlier. Oh, we might need to be maybe like a warehouse worker to move the crate. Yeah, there's there's some stuff there, but how do we get there? Okay, you know what? Let's Let's drink somebody first. I think we're good. Um, you know what? No, hold on. One sec. One second. Nothing to report here. Okay. How do I switch between the two? I had this problem before too, but I don't know how to switch between the two uniforms. How do I go back to the SAD one? <laughs> I don't know. I, um, there must be some button, but I am not familiar. Okay, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Alright, let me have a chomp. Let me have a chomp. Come with me over there. Okay, sure. It's possible to switch back to the SAD one. Because I had this trouble back in the party scene, too, and I... I think I just randomly pressed some buttons and it worked. <laughs> I have such good control. I haven't killed a single person thus far. By feeding. Well, I'm glad my scar's gone now, for whatever reason. Probably a glitch, because earlier it was like on my... on my bangs and all that. Okay, I'll try again. Yo, what button is it? I don't know what button it is. I'm just pressing a whole bunch of random stuff. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Yeah. If we're really hungry, we can keep drinking, but we're not... we're not that hungry.
Beautiful face. All right, sweet. <clears throat> Everybody? Hi. Hi. It's I'm just wondering if it's possible to go up. Because I'm kind of curious about the crane. We're missing some control agents, aren't we? Two of them took the kid down to Agent Olsen's office. Yeah, we probably can't get to where the crane is. We can just control it from the room. And then whatever that was, I'm not sure. Captain? <laughs> the size difference! Good evening, Captain. <laughs> you wanna come through? Nothing uh... Okay, great. Not right now. Not right now. Very well, Captain. Let's see. I don't think there's anything else. We've looked around pretty well. I mean, there are some rats here. Captain is... M Nobody has noticed. Wait, let me confirm. I'm sure to be detected. I need to change my appearance. Look, him bending down is like as tall as I am right now, and nobody has noticed the captain just shrunk like five inches. <laughs> That's hilarious. Do you want to go in, Captain? Yes. 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 Thanks. Thanks. All right, I'll let you in. Hey, thank God I got the doppelganger skill, huh? Actually coming in handy. I don't have a minute to lose. Where is Halsey? Uh, my my camera angle is stuck. I can't. Hold on. What's happening? Okay, we're good now. Ooh. Obviously, we don't have enough. We might actually have enough willpower to pick open all these. No, it's five each, we don't, so we'll have to find the right one. For whatever purpose we need. Transfers. That looks like a map of this area. Exit is straight in front of us. Okay. You heard the orders. We've got to take the kid down to the lab. Alright. Oh, Halsey. Hold on, Leisha. We'll get there, okay? Just play it cool. Borough operation area. Must be serious if they put him in isolation. Operation Borough. Unit mobilized under the command of Captain Collins. Charles Griffin. Hey, they didn't ask for my name earlier. They didn't even bother following protocol. Their own protocol. Kaylin LeBlanc. No, no, people's names. Cassie exploded. Shit. They're really organized. They threw that all together in less than 24 hours. Operation Swansong Ness allowed us to locate a second source of infection in a basement on Cellar Street. Corvus has confirmed that this is a food distribution and research facility. Mission objectives. If possible, spare civilians. Capture or eliminate infected targets. Gather all potential sources of information. The operation Doesn't will be launched like simultaneously from the main entrance and the sewers. They're more organized than us. They'd found both exits. We didn't stand a chance. Yeah, I remember, they only found out about this place when we were at the party. That's been like half a day, and they already had a plan. A map of the basement. They knew about everything. Every room. Yeah, that's the Red Salon. Shit. They even had the layout of the Red Salon. Exit. Wow. One of theirs took herself out. Is that why the elevator was broken? Where is Beryl? Did Beryl get captured? If they're blowing themselves up, that's good news for us. Asset Cassie Hansen was lost during Operation Burrow. She apparently detonated her explosive safety belt to protect the rear end of her subunit from an infected person. Hmm. Rest in peace. That's not standard procedure. <laughs> the Trujacs will keep them busy for a while. <laughs> they won't understand a thing. 
for now, but you've given it to them, so they'll start to understand it. It's only a matter of time. Project review. One of theirs took herself out. Yeah. Printing pause. Report capture child. <sighs> Not enough ink. What? It's at like 80% right now. Oh, the K. We're missing the K. K needs to be replaced, and then we can read some report. Hello, Captain. Congratulations on Operation Burrow tonight. We followed you from the ops room. It was a real bloodbath. It's just, it's the, just beginning. the beginning. Believe me. <laughs> Monsignor Stanford was impressed. You just missed him. He left after the crisis meeting. Wait, the captain's head looks way too big on Leisha's body. This is so hilarious. Oh my god. Ah, uh, that's a lot of... You know what? Let's do it. I could do Iron Fist, but I want to save it. I heard there was an incident with the child we brought back. Give me a quick update. All I can say is that I saw Captain. There was some kind of issue with C-23, because one of your men was put in isolation here. They asked me to print the T-6 security procedure for the crisis meeting. And that... monster... was taken somewhere else. But Agent Olsen is in his office. He'll be able to tell you more. Thanks. Thanks. All right then. All right then. I'll let you, I'll let you get back to work. At your service, Captain. Okay. I need a file number if I want access. How long is this file number? Number. No letters. Correct? What this, what's the difference between correct and delete? File number. We need ink. Somebody go change out the ink on the printer. They're organized. They wouldn't give up. Wait, that's a werewolf, right? That's not a vampire. What? Ooh. No, we need numbers, just numbers. Huh. They tracked him for a long time. Without giving up. Who? Two weeks in August? They're suspicious of everything. As requested by the SAD High Command, Investigations was able to cross-reference sources from various departments in the territory to compile a timeline of cold cases in the area around Blue Hills, spanning 2018 to 19. These cases are mainly concentrated on the site of Chemical Growth and Company, a petrochemical company specialized in chemical fertilizers and genetically modified seeds. We conclude with certainty that a nighttime perimeter observation protocol is required. Cold cases as in... Oh, there's damage to the facility, but they don't know why. There's fires... There's some cars have been damaged... An employee went crazy... They were diagnosed with burnout... But we don't really know... Stuff got destroyed... So something is strange around this area. Are they... Tracking this thing? Help from Europe. These bastards are everywhere. We received the elements provided. Sender FL Europe. After comparison with our own data, we recommend that you proceed with caution. Today we will be sending you a collar developed in our lab that could help you to restrain the specimen once captured and then to interrogate and study it. Please note that the evidence to date suggests that these specimens may be part of a pack. It is essential to be able to locate the pack. Pack. Pack is not the word you would use to describe vampires. To my knowledge. They've been collecting anything that seems out of the ordinary to them. For a long time. Yeah, they've been observing this, um... Blue Hill area. This is a different operation. Yes, it is a werewolf! Operation Hunt. Vampires are far from the only monsters dwelling in the night. <laughs> That's it! That's it. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the information. 
Is it him? Harmon Colin. We're not related to me, right? Me as in the captain? Well, I don't know. Hiding there was a terrible idea. Where... I don't recognize what this place is. The hangar? His mortal appearance. <laughs> they didn't see it coming. This isn't relevant to us, it's just... Random stuff. Passport number? Driver's license plate? There's numbers here. Wait, how many numbers do we need for the file thing? Probably should go back and have a look. They're tracking the dogs too. The lycanthrope. Capture it, neutralize it, and interrogate it. That must have been hell. According to our current data, lycanthropes have a highly developed sense of smell. They can track you. They can frighten and disorient you with their howling. Be sure to wear your auditory filters. Face-to-face -face combat is futile and even potentially deadly. The objective of the assignment is for two of our agents to place the restraint collar but sent by FL Europe around the specimen's neck. But who's gonna do it? Who's gonna be the one to do it? Dogs are good at picking up scents. Okay, we confirmed that there is a werewolf around here. We got pictures of it. But it made a sound that caused everyone to retreat. To have left so many tracks, it must have been a lupine. Tracks. Footprints. Eyewitness reports. Two meters tall. Around the hangar. <laughs> they weren't expecting that. Unusual proportions. Unusual position of the hind legs. Yes. They confirmed there is a werewolf here. It's pretty much it. But that's not relevant to anything we're doing right now. It's another case. Yeah. Sorry, but I still have to finish archiving our meeting minutes, Captain. We were careless. That's how they found us. The hell is that? All these people. Who could have sold us out? Yeah, we still gotta worry about that too. Hmm. Saint Leopold. They will burn. We got the information you sent today. We inform you that Monsignor Stanford will be arriving on the 17th of July. He will be permanently assigned to your region by the Society of St. Leopold as of today, until he feels his presence is no longer necessary. They've been here for about almost two months. It's the beginning of September right now. They asked Europe for help. They spent some transport containers, some coffins, anticoagulant gun, Secure storage containers, dog collars. That's not standard procedure. A lot of numbers here. I wanted to do this number, but the, the Zs and the Ss, that means it can't be the file number. Hold on, let me have a look first. How many digits is the thing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine digits. Kind of long. Somebody, please refill the ink. They had time to plan it all. Two months. Oh. oh, the bastard who sold us out sure did a solid job. Mildred Woods, Everett Green, gone. Hey, where the hell is the Neb Osborne? I don't see any. Like our alliance. What happened to it? Lynn Vance, Clyde Moses. Dejan? Dejan's gone? But they know your face, Dejan. You can't run. Galeb? Whoa, what? Did they kill Barrel? Really? That easily? When? Like when we were going into Richard's secret lab to find Hazel, like in the little padded room hospital area? That's when they got him? Really? Millie? Our first time seeing her, Hazel, Delson, Richard. I'm not even on the radar. They brought back photo souvenirs of the carnage. Oh, they deserve to die too. 
Oh, I think this is just evidence. It's not souvenirs. I should have killed them when I had the chance. Some agents may have come into contact with an infected subject who had infiltrated the site. Monsignor Stanford himself fought it and defeated it when I ran away. Damn, they really didn't leave anything to chance. Operation Nest, we got some documents, new leads, new infection sites, artifacts. That requires study by the Society of St. Leopold. We got some blank body specimens. There's Why no do they call it blank bodies? Blank as in there's no blood flowing or like what's the meaning of blank here? Dead? They don't call us carcasses. Corvus. Targets. Who gave them this intel? This is where the party was? Yeah, the penthouse apartment. They knew exactly when it was going to start. Oh god. All of our fellow kindred. Those look like ink cartridges. Thank you. We just need it for the K. That's all. Good evening, Captain. Doing some good work here? That's not standard procedure. Yeah, because you guys haven't been changing the ink. That must be Halsey. They're going to regret treating her like that. Borough Report 23. September 5th. During Operation Burrow, Captain Collins captured a rare specimen. The subject has the appearance of a child female, approximately 8 years of age. The absence of blood during capture, the complexion and the aggressiveness reported by the responding team, confirms that it is indeed a infected humanoid. C-23. I think that probably helps, knowing that number. Okay, we can look up some, um, yeah. We need 9 digits like for that thing. Well, look around. Look around. I've got orders. You have to wait here. Hello? Nobody's allowed in. Sorry. Not even the captain. Let me through. Let me through. Captain, Private San Diego needs to be kept in isolation. Agent Olson's direct orders. That's, my That's one of my men in there, not yours. Not yours. I'm res I'm my scar! responsible for him. Yes, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. My scar is back. <laughs> wow. I imagine if we had another uniform, we probably would have had a confrontation here. Giving orders while impersonating a senior officer of a secret organization requires some subtlety. Leisha has improved her concealment skills. Perfect. Hey, buddy. What's up? Why you in here? What kind of monster could do something like that? What's going on? What's going on here, soldier? Why are you locked, Why up? Are you locked up in here? <laughs> I'm not supposed to talk about it. If I and if I order you to, I'm sorry, Captain. The orders come from Saint Leopold. There's no point in insisting. I can't. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I get it. I get it. They let us come in here, but I can't talk. If I appear as somebody else, would you talk? Are you going to explain, you going to explain it to me, soldier? No, it's like I said. I have orders. There's no point in insisting. I can't. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I get it. I get it. If I come as... Mmm, Leisha. If I come as Leisha, the agent will see me, though. Like, I'm just wondering if I can dominate the guy. What's the point of us being able to come into this room but not being able to get information, right? There's got to be something to do with this guy here. So what's this room? Crisis reports are separate. Good evening, Captain. Good evening. Good evening. Crisis report. Agent Olsen and Private San Diego reported an incident that occurred at 8 minutes, or at 12.08, in the interrogation room. The child that was captured during Operation Burrow was under the standard restraint protocol. 
impaled through the chest, staff equipped with anticoagulant. Agent Olsen had not yet had the time to complete his investigation when Private Halpert suffered severe pain in his head and shot himself with a service weapon. There is every reason to believe that the exsanguinated child was a cause of his suicide. Command held an emergency crisis management meeting immediately to decide what to do about the subject. The Halsey made someone kill themselves. She's powerful. I gotta make sure I don't mix things up. Crisis report. March 2019? Uh, crisis management meeting. Immediate increase of base security. Oh no, this is today, right? Immediate increase of base security until further notice. Isolation of potentially infected witnesses of the incident with a child until C-23 is neutralized. Isolated in lab L4 in a crisis T6 container. Two soldiers and three scientists are in charge of moving it. Lab L4, T6 container. Lab L-04, basement 4. Finally. Hang on, sweetheart. I'm coming. Mom, where is the mom? Huh. They're afraid I'll come looking for her. I feel like even they must know that having a child vampire is not standard. I'm going to make them pay. Halsey's room. Oh, sweetie. Oh, how could Richard have left you in there? I guess that was just a random person then. I was so confused by the scene, but yeah, like, that whole thing was real. This is just some vessel that Halsey, Richard gave Halsey. Uh, I can't look at that one dot there. That's not going to make things easy for me. Red 1 protocol upgrade. Security will be raised to Red 1, as well as all access points until further notice. Identity screening, yada yada yada. Hopefully the captain can help us get through some of this. Ah, uh, they won't let me look at that one. I gotta make sure I don't mix things up. Magnetic key, which is for technology levels, yeah? We haven't really had to use the technology and security stuff yet. Curious about the drawers we saw in the beginning, though. I could unlock them, but like, which one is the relevant one? You can't stay here. Are there safe zones around here? So the elevator is just. Oh, uh, look around. Halsey's drawings spattered with blood. That means she's been here. Whoa. I need to hurry. Oh, that's the guy that killed himself. Uh, who did that? Uh, I, I don't understand. Oh, yeah, yeah, we should be using our skills. One of Halsey's drawings spattered with blood. That means she's been here. I need to hurry. Private Halpert, put down that weapon. We know what happened already. I'm going to get started. Agent Emmett Olson. It is 07 a.m. on September 6, 2019. I'm now proceeding. Wait, Agent Olson. What now? Halpert, he doesn't look too good. Put down that weapon. Albert? No shit, that's impossible. Whatever you do, stay calm. It's incredible. She's unlike anything we've ever seen before. Was it this monster? Her? I'm almost certain of it. She must sense her stress. She's defending herself. I'm gonna burn that bitch. Get a hold of yourself, soldier. Stay here. I'm gonna warn Monsignor. That thing could start again. But you'll know how to control her. Don't breathe a word to anyone until we've got the situation under control. Albert. Shit. So is that the guy that's been locked in the room? The alive guy? Oh? 
Oh. Just worried about the lack of a safe room here. An illusion. Who could have done that here? Richard? Security, two out of four. We can... Can we take two things and then like increase it twice? We have three lockpicks. I wonder if we can take two of them at the same time. Hold on though, let me go back to the room and see if we can talk to the person. Are you going to explain, you going to explain it to me, soldier? No, it's like I said. I have orders. There's no point in insisting. I can't. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I get it. I get it. Okay, I thought we'd be able to. Now that we know a little bit about what he's hiding. Sure. Yeah, we gotta freaking walk around with the... aspects. What about the file number? And then the, the drawer is back there too. Uh, if we look at the map, maybe we can see like, presence of uh, hidden rooms and stuff. Did we go to the big gray room? Yeah, that's... Right, that's where the person was held, that's the room at the very end, and then that... was the interrogation room. There is a room behind the interrogation room, I don't think we've been there. But that's not the hidden room, is it? it oh, it is actually, it is. Yeah, it should be. Okay, well, uh, all I can do is try and see if it works. Can we just take two? So that's one. Uh, it doesn't even- that's gotta be a bug, right? It doesn't even mention the level of the thing anymore. And then I'll take another one. Yes, it does work. Oh! Whoa! What? What the hell? Um... Olsen? Oh my god. Oh! Oh, they don't know! Oh, because I, I didn't come here as Leisha. They don't know who I am. I was like, what? How come no one's reacting to me? <laughs> Infamous bitch to whom I'm bound. Like the convict to his chain. You, who like the stab of a knife, entered my plaintive heart. You, who, strong as a herd of demons, came ardent and adorned. To make your bed in your domain of my humiliated mind. Infamous bitch to whom I'm bound, like the convict to his chain. Like the stubborn gambler to the game. Like the drunkard to his wine. Like the maggots to the corpse. Accursed, accursed be you. I begged the swift poniard to gain for me my liberty. I asked perfidious poison to give aid to my cowardice. Alas, both poison and the knife contemptuously said to me. You did not deserve to be freed from your accursed slavery. Fool. If from her domination our efforts could deliver you, your kisses would resuscitate the cadaver of your vampire. That sounds more like a song. Well, either way though, this room was hidden. I came inside. Richard should be able to tell it's me. Submissive and blind. <laughs> Just like a mortal. Agent Emmett Olsen. We spoke at length with Monsignor Stanford upon his return from Boston, and he informed us of your interest in joining our order. The situation in Boston does indeed warrant exploring the possibility of expanding our presence in your region. However, you must understand that being a member of the Society of St. Leopold takes precedence over any other commitment. This entails self-sacrifice, perseverance, and discretion on your part. Monsignor Stanford will be returning to your region and has been granted approval to ordain you as a novice. You will be placed under his authority for the duration of your novitiate. Yes. The lowest ranking. Uh, another mortal trinket. Does it help? I am confident that my theory is correct. Some are able to enter the mind, and have done so since the dawn of time. Whether they are called mediums, magicians, conjurers, I am sure they belong to the world of these monsters. This leads me to a second hypothesis. Not all of them have the desire to hide, and the strangeness of many of them leads me to question the sanity of this subcategory. Through direct observations or the accounts of those they have manipulated, the majority of them exhibit characteristics very similar to our own. 
as if the infection only added monstrosity on top of a stable human mental state. Those who seem to have telepathic abilities, on the other hand, appear to be more contaminated than the others, afflicted with a variety of mental illnesses. Perhaps this is an advanced stage of whatever ailment is eating away at them? Perhaps they all end up with their flesh consumed and melted away, as I saw in Monsignor's notes? Boston is a great opportunity for me to confirm my hypotheses about this. Monsignor has promised me first shot at certain interrogations with adequate acoustic and physical protection. You never know with these creatures. So this is Olsen's own desk. Shit. They were going to torture her. I came close, but I admit it was risky. My hands are shaking. We captured a kid. At least she looks like one. I felt strange sensations when we were bringing her back. She might be telepathic? Monsignor said I could go interrogate her under strict security conditions. But before we started, a soldier killed himself right in front of our eyes. And she was still immobilized by the stake. <gasps> oh, was she? I thought they were interrogating her. Oh, she was immobilized, but she can still think and stuff. However, I'm certain she must also be suffering from a mental disorder as per my working hypothesis. It could be anxiety, or the confined space, or the interrogation equipment, the soldier is close to her. She sensed their stress and surely their hostility towards her. If I had known, I would have done something more. They put her in isolation. I hope I can study her again. I don't think so. Is that for hunger? Please tell me it's for hunger. I've been reading all this and they're like, whoop, just go ahead, read, finish reading and then we'll talk. <laughs> In 1882, Frederick William Henry Myers used the term telepathic hallucinations to speak of the phenomenon by which an individual's mind influences that of another. And this is the foundation for experimental study of telepathy and the paranormal more generally. So I'm gonna keep looking at his stuff. No, no, no. Bottom one. The bottom one. She's a child of Malkav. What have they done to her? Michelle Davis, C21, Operation Nest. Olsen is handling the case. He suspects BB Type 4, telepathic. One hour mental and physical conditioning session every two hours. Oh my god. The subject is frightened when we approach. Oh no, they know how to torture us. What are they gonna do to Halsey? I'll make them pay for what they've done to us all. Can someone please explain to me what the hell is happening here? They're just sort of... Oh, hey. You must know where Halsey is. Olsen's key just casually puts it on the ground. Found on his body? It was just on the ground. <laughs> okay. Wait. No. Telepathy? Link? Found the source. Alright guys, do you wanna... talk? Richard. You shouldn't be here. Leave, now! My daughter exists. <gasps> you lied to me. And even worse, you let them bring her here. My daughter... They're talking telepathically? Listen. Now is neither the time nor the place Stop to- it! Enough! <laughs> I don't give a shit about where we are, how dangerous it is, or anything else. You stole Halsey from me! You made me forget everything! Why did you do it? I did it to protect both of you, of course! You caused too much of a stir within the court because of your gifts. They're both your strengths and your greatest weakness. No, that's not gonna work anymore, Richard. Ugh, your excuses that only you alone understand. Oh, what danger could have been so great that you felt like you had to separate us, lie to us, and manipulate us like you did? It, it's because of the prince! Defend. Now is the time to defend. Yeah, uh, let me just make sure. 
Uh, clearly, they didn't get around to animating the facial animations for this thing. I assume with Relatia, it would be animated properly. But, um... It's not, so... <laughs> It's not a confrontation, though. She called for Halsey's head about three years ago. She said she was a dangerous liability, and she probably wanted to put me in my place. She ordered me to do it, but I couldn't. I had to make everyone believe I'd destroy her. For both your sakes. <sighs> to protect us, of course. <laughs> Can we not focus? I know we have one in inter- We have one- Oh, we don't have willpower, that's why. Hold on. I'd rather use willpower here. Is that enough? Um, hopefully. Damn it. You have no idea what I'm capable of right now. So I highly recommend that you tell me everything, Richard. I've told you the truth. Threatening me will only encourage me to lie to you. It doesn't make any sense. Believe it or not, I've always been helping you. What about Halsey? What did you tell her? That... That you had been destroyed. I had no other choice. I had to find a way to keep her safe and stop her from looking for you. When you talk about safety, do you mean hers or yours? All of yours. Well, <laughs> both actually. But do you realize the harm you caused her? Laisha, these feelings you both have that twisted vestige of your humanity. It's your illness. It's what I've been trying to treat for all these years. I never asked you to do that. I trusted you, and you tricked us. You let those mortals bring her here, and that... <sighs> it's the second Inquisition, Leisha. I'm here on the Prince's orders. My assignment concerns everyone. We have to fight them. Halsey can't be our priority. The fate of the Boston Camarilla, and your fate as well, is at stake here. And you're the one who's supposed to save us? I can sense your anger, but don't make a mistake. We'll all regret. Hazel believes I'm our last hope to defeat the SI and protect the masquerade. Your thirst for vengeance would lead to your doom and Halsey's. Is that all? I sense that you're afraid of me. You're right to be afraid. Yes, but I'm even more afraid of the SI and you should be too. If you're the reason our plan should fail, you'll both pay the price. Just think. Destroy him? Okay, I don't think I'm ready to destroy Richard. Wish we got a little bit of more information, but okay. <sighs> okay, I, I won't dis- <sighs> Azlaisha? I don't think I care about their plans. I really just care about Halsey. You can do your plan. I'll try to rescue Halsey on my end, okay? Like, I don't want to destroy you and have this internal fight while we're in the enemy base right now. Fine, whatever. I'm going to find my daughter, and we're going to leave. After everything I've done for you. I never want to see you again. Do you understand? Where will you go? I said never, Richard, because I won't hesitate next time. How could I have been so blind? 
Oh, we're just gonna let him leave? Oh, I really wish they, um... Yeah, I really, as funny as that was, I really wish they made it so that, you know, it was Leisha during the confrontation and not the disguise. That would have probably hit a lot harder. Uh, okay, so why are you here? <laughs> the key is gone. If I steal your identity, it's gonna replace the SAD uniform, right? Not the Sam, the captain one. It better. Oh, I wasted my willpower earlier and we didn't even get the information. That's awful. Okay. I stole the identity, but I need a safe room. Yo, I need a safe room. It doesn't even explain. No, I can't be seen in this form here. Can you change here? Where is the safe room on this floor? I don't think we've seen one. Oh, in the very beginning, right? Please don't tell me I lost a captain uniform. Okay, I really gotta figure out how to switch between... ...uniforms here, because this is... ...ridiculous. You shouldn't be here. Leave, now! My daughter exists. You lied to me. And even worse, you let them bring her here. My daughter. Listen, now is neither the time nor the place. Stop it! Enough! I don't give a shit about where we are, how dangerous it is, or anything else. You stole Halsey from me! You made me forget everything! Why did you do it? I did it to protect both of you, of course. You caused too much of a stir within the court because of your gifts. They're both your strength and your greatest weakness. No, that's not gonna work anymore, Richard. Ugh, your excuses that only you alone understand. Oh, what danger could have been so great that you felt like you had to separate us, lie to us, and manipulate us like you did? It, it's because of the prince. Okay, so I, I had to look up what the hell was going on here. It looks like the scene is extremely, extremely buggy. I had to re-roll my progress a little bit because when we see Olsen in this room here, what's supposed to have happened is the moment we step in the room, we see Richard feeding on Olsen. He's actually dead already, which means earlier when I was trying to steal his identity, if I try to walk around outside, it just doesn't even like grant me access anywhere, which means stealing that outfit was completely useless. And I came back here this time with a normal normal SAD soldier uniform so that we can see Leisha's expressions, and yeah, it looks a lot better. It's not like it's supremely well animated, but way better than before, right? At least her mouth is moving. She called for Halsey's head about three years ago. She said she was a dangerous liability, and she probably wanted to put me in my place. She ordered me to do it. But I couldn't! I had to make everyone believe I'd destroy her. I'll try getting the truth out of him again. <sighs> to protect us, of course. I have no idea what I did and didn't do. So I have a little bit more hunger, or a little less hunger than before. We'll just Iron Fist, Richard. You have no idea what I'm capable of right now. So I highly recommend that you tell me everything, Richard. But it's the truth. Of course, I feared for my existence as well, but I didn't give in. No, you're right. You just erased my memory instead. Halsey is far too powerful. She siphoned too much of your attention. Her gifts are frightening. If she's afraid she could destroy everything around her without even meaning to. Do you understand? Thanks to my treatments, you could still take care of her. But Hazel wanted more and more of your visions. Did I really have a choice? Of course. You could have helped us escape. Explain things to me. You don't understand. Halsey is a danger to us all because she can't control her powers. Because she's a child. Believe it or not, I've always been helping you. What about Halsey? 
What did you tell her? That that you had been destroyed. I had no other choice. Mm. I had to find a way to keep her safe and stop her from looking for you. When you talk about safety, do you mean hers or yours? All of yours. Well, <laughs> both, actually. But do you realize the harm you caused her? Laisha, these feelings you both have, that twisted vestige of your humanity, it's your illness. It's what I've been trying to treat for all these years. I never asked you to do that. I trusted you, and you tricked us. You let those mortals bring her here, and that... It's the Second Inquisition, Leisha. I'm here on the Prince's orders. My assignment concerns everyone. We have to fight them. Halsey can't be our priority. Whatever. I'm going to find my daughter, and we're going to leave. After everything I've done for you. I never want to see you again. Do you understand? All right, get out of here. Hurry up. Where will you go? I said never, Richard. Because I won't hesitate next time. How could I have been so blind? Even though he's my sire's sire, I guess the generation is not the only thing that makes up our power levels, I guess. Halsey is unusually gifted, maybe because she's a child. Okay, this scene, honestly, you know that I've restarted many levels before just to, uh, you know, get around game-breaking bugs and all, but if I hadn't been meticulously backing up my saves every half an hour or so, this would have been impossible on a normal person's playthrough. I just want to say, because on the videos, this is going to seem like relatively smooth, but behind the scenes, and I'm not saying this because I want you to, you know, praise me for how much work I put into it, but I'm just saying, you know, as a, as a consumer of this product, if you want my opinion, I'm saying right now that there has been a lot of bugs, and if you play it yourself, it'll probably be pretty rough. But you might get the impression that it's not because I haven't shown how rough it really is. That's all. Okay, the key. The key we picked up off Olsen's. It's supposed to be his dead body here. So being able to steal his identity is also um, a bug. Lots of bugs here. Agent Emmett Olsen. It is 07 a.m. on September 6th. Oh, we heard this already. I am now proceed. That was useless. Wait, Agent Olsen. What now? Halbert. He doesn't look too good. September 6, 2019, 0.48 a.m. The subject has surpassed my expectations. Although childlike in appearance and neutralized, she demonstrates incredible telepathic abilities. Monsignor ordered that she be weakened before her transfer to the Vatican. We will what? leave her in a high-secured container in Lab L-04 in Basement 4, in the hope that my hypothesis is correct and she will gradually lose her ability to cause harm. Another way for us to find out about the lab thing. I also did figure out how the... No, I can't be seen in this form here. Identity stuff works, which we'll have to switch to... Oh, hold on. Can I pick stuff up while I'm in this state? I might not be able to. Apparently I missed a key here. There's nothing in the naming system. I knew it. Hold on. Right, so it's the way they switch the outfits is really, really stupid, okay? Like, okay, R1. But don't do it fully. If you do it halfway, you see the, the white circle switches between the two uniforms? You gotta just do it halfway and then it switches. And then you if you want that circled one, you do it the full way. They never taught me this, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, we figured it out, so okay, whatever. I think we're just about ready to leave now, except one last thing. Yeah, this key here, which apparently opens up... Wait, it's labeled. It's labeled. Transfers. Transfers.
transfers, we learn from the printout on the the printer that Halsey's file is C23. Which we didn't have to know because the key only opens the, the one locker, right? Locker? Hey, 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 hey! Oh no, it opens all of them, actually. But we don't need to know any of this. Is this the third way for us to find out the same thing? Hmm, C23, interrogation room 7, censored. Confidential C file 19812418, which is the nine digit code that we're looking for for the computer. Okay, I'm gonna drink while I'm here. Hey, come here. Follow me. It will take a minute. Yes. So in the end, I'm not sure... I'm not sure how you were supposed to get the guy in the room to talk. Pretending to be Olsen wasn't a thing. He's supposed to be dead. It's just that for some reason, we didn't get the death animation. We could have taken this guy's uniform. Ooh, that was close. All right. Minus eight now. That's good. Okay, you stay there. After we get this file, that should be it. I hope I redid everything properly. Yeah, the whole like save problem and then running into game breaking bugs. If they had at least made it so that we could manually save to different this? slots, then that would be one way to get around it. It's not perfect, but at least it lets me go back right by right now. All we can do is restart the scene from the very beginning. That's it. There's no way for us to go back to the save that we started from. One, nine, eight, one, two, four, four. I'm sorry. Two, four, ah! Oh my God, deletes everything. Okay, I see. That's the difference between delete and correct, which makes no sense, but maybe it's some That's French translation. Two, four, one, eight, eight. Basement four labs. Yeah, it's the same thing. Three different ways for us to find out, basically. The easiest one was probably just by going to the um, room at the end and then looking at the cabinet. That should be it. Do you really not want to talk? You know what? I don't care about you. That's it. That's it. Let's go. Hang in there, sweetie. I'm on my way. You could have made the traumatized soldier talk. Yeah, I wasn't sure how to. Probably dominate of some kind? Your worst nightmare, authority figure, plus one to dominate and obfuscate. Good. You entered the base without getting caught. You let Richard Dunham leave. You took Troy Collins' identity. You found Halsey's transfer file. You found the incident report. You listened to a recording of Halsey's interrogation. You enter the war room. Resonance bonus aspects. Okay, cool. 